Okay, let's see what happens here. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser RC. I'm just down here testing a shot with the Osmo Pocket, but also I want to try and set up another motor in my two-wheel drive. This time we're going to try an SMC. This one's Gen 2 Low Rider. Uh, what makes it a low rider is how offset these mounting points are, so that is going to lower the can because these whole positions are higher up, so that's going to make the can sit lower. As well, this is a highly lightened can. As you can see, most of the metal's removed. We've got the magnets exposed. It's a single sensor port on the rear. Uh, SMC started to make motors, and actually I got this from one of the motor designers, and uh, this is one that he had. It was a brand new unit. Uh, this one has its timing set at just under 40 degrees, it looks like. So we'll put it on the motor tester. Yes, I got my own motor analyzer, and we'll get this going, and we'll test it, and then put it in the two-wheel drive, the TLR22, and see how it performs versus the 17.5. Because everyone else has gone mom motors except for me. Might as well put in a slightly faster motor and see what I can get out of this one. The motor analyzer itself is just like the Sky RC one that we saw before, but just by a different brand, G-Force. It's the exact same unit. It should operate in the exact same way. So uh, we'll give it a try, see how it does on the SMC Lowrider 13.5 Gen 2. Okay, let's see what happens here. G-Force version 1.30. We'll do motor timing. Twenty nine thirty three twenty nine. So now let's do KV RPM. It's pretty good RPM. Thirty seven thirty one at seven point nine volts. That's already seven hundred KV more than I can get out of my. 17.5 at lower timing, so it'll run cooler and be faster. I'm not sure how well this is focusing. Now on this motor, the gauge reads low. I'm seeing it as 36% on the gauge, but really it's reading 30. Jumped it up by about 10 degrees and we got 37, 40, 38, I believe. Uh, it's gonna cycle through again. And now we'll do a KV test. Oh, it seems like the sensor board is kind of spreading out. 37, 40, 36. That's not a great sensor board, but whatever, we'll, uh, we'll do KV now. Five point five amp. And just because we can, I'm gonna crank up the timing as much as I can on the gauge and then we'll see what does it run because that's the whole point of getting the tester so we can do stuff like that. So let's try it before I dial it back and put it in the car. I'm now at the very limit at the very end of how much timing you can put into it. So I got an average timing of 49, so 48. 51 47 that's not too bad so 50 degrees timing so now let's go back and run an rpm test and see how much rpm we get out of it versus amperage whoa look at the amp spike 14 amps for 5,000 Fort. oh we lost it 14.1 amps at 49.77 kV. Ooh, she's cooking. She doesn't like that much timing. Just out of curiosity, I dialed the timing back to the least amount of timing, and uh, this is what we got. 1.6 amps at 32.04. Somewhere in the middle there, we'll set it, we'll dial it in. This is where it seems to be happiest, around 34 average timing. The spread across the sensor board is a little too much for my liking, but uh, on the can itself, it's set on exactly 40 degrees. And uh, this is what we get on the RPM test. Get 100 more kV, you'd end up going 2 amps and then 10 amps more than that. So it's not worth it. We'll put it in the car and then we'll throw a little bit of boost on top of this. So that's why I'm being conservative with the manual timing. Because I'm going to add 10 boost and then 10 turbo on top. So it's going to be 35, 45, 55 at the end, by the end of the straight. So that should work out. We'll give it a try. The uh, Radical 17.5 is out. 
And the SMC 13.5 Lowrider is in. And man, it's got a lot of wheel speed. So let's go try it on the track. All right, came out to the track to test out the new 13.5 and the two wheel drive. It's an off night, no one's here except for the diehards that would like to go faster. So let's try and go faster. SMC Lowrider. All right, here we go. First pull with the 13.5 SMC Lowrider. Thank you. See how it is. Ooh. She's got a lot of jam. Whoa. <laughs> Can't give it full power. Thirty-three point six. Terrible. I can't get into the throttle because it's got too much. I'm gonna have to limit it down somehow. Limit punch control. I could barely hold on to that. Still gonna be a slow lap. 29.1. Oh, <laughs> just walk sideways at full throttle. Twenty-nine flat. The 17.5. I was doing 25 second laps, so I've gotten slower because I'm blowing all my apexes and spinning out. <laughs> yeah, I got to adjust that ESC. It's nutty. 29.5. We're going to use the uh, Tekken Hotwire Mobile Edition through a uh, USB on the go style USB C thing and do an Android phone so that I can try and tweak some of the settings. Into the app here in a second. There we go. Connected to my ESC now, which is a first generation RS Pro. Uh, current limit is currently off. I'm going to enable a current limit. So current is at 100. Um, should probably dial this down thing is I don't really know what this is doing so we'll try 20 I want everything softened and then timing oh boost was at 20 probably want less less boost these are all the timing profiles you can't see that much in the mobile app but I'll play around with it it's been adjusted I added 5% drag brake for current limit down to 20% on the speed control versus unlimited I've also backed off my slipper a bit also negative 30% throttle exponential so we will try that it should be a little bit easier to manage we'll see how it goes okay. oh way too much oh crap this thing's fast wow loosening off whoa amazing loosening off the spur a half a turn made all the difference in the world. It no longer steps sideways on power. Now, now I just gotta learn to drive it. Ah. All right, I changed my throttle exponential to minus 15 and I turned up my brake a little bit. Now it feels, now it feels pretty good. I'm still. I'm still technically no faster than I was when I played 17.5, but it would be if I could actually hold my lines. Oh. Not <laughs> like that. Right Here's straightaway pull. Ah. All right. 28. I just finished my practice session. I got the 22 dialed in where I'm getting, I got two 25.8 second laps, a bunch of 26s, which is about the same speed I could get before with the 17 Tekken again, that current limiter thing where I had it down to 20% added a lot of delay. So I had to bring that back up. So I'm now at 80% out of hundred. hundred is no current limiter. So I'm at 80% of max and minus 20 to minus 25% throttle exponential. We'll just see how I do and 5% drag break. So we'll see how I do in next week. That's the 22 with 13.5. Alrighty guys, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button if you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.
I can barely help.